Hey guys, I thought I would make some videos of like virtual birding for you. Since we can't go birding together um, right now because of the pandemic, I've made recordings of um, birds singing in the field around my house. And then um, some of you know, I take a lot of photos of birds. And so instead of editing them and showing you the most beautiful pictures, I'm gonna show you what's on my camera roll and it'll be like walking in the forest with me, kind of but at least we'll be able to kind of see together, look at birds together, um, and hopefully this will be helpful. So let's start with a few video clips. You don't see birds in these, but you can hear them. And um, I want you to make sure that you're, you're training your ear. So let's listen. You hear it? Okay, so there's a lot going on out there. Um, hopefully you can hear a tufted or you can hear a tufted titmouse towards the end saying Peter 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 but what you're hearing in the foreground you hear lots of just chip 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 most of those are house sparrows and then you can also hear drink your tea drink your tea and that's the the um the eastern toey that's singing let's see what else did we hear let's listen again Drink your tea. Peter, Peter, Peter. So there's some variation in the in the toey. Sometimes they don't say the whole drink or tea phrase, and so you're hearing some other stuff. Okay, so here you can hear Germany, Germany, Germany. Listen again. Germany, 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 Germany. And that's the Carolina Wren. They do have a lot of variation in their songs. Sometimes they say more tea kettle, tea kettle, tea, tea kettle. Um, and sometimes it's a clear Germany, Germany, Germany. Okay, so in that one, you can also hear that um, the Carolina Wren, I think it's the same Wren. This was at Central Park this morning and um, I was walking around. But anyway, so that was the Carolina Wren quite loudly saying Germany, Germany, Germany. But you also hear some calls in the background. So there's a Carolina chickadee um, chirping around. There's also a little bit of Peter, Peter, Peter from the Tufted Titmouse. And there at the end, you can see a bird fly up into this um, conifer, this pine tree in front of us. And that was a yellow-bellied sapsucker, but he didn't say anything, but you can see him. Those are chorus frogs. <laughs> I was surprised to hear them this morning. They were, they were calling like crazy chorus frogs, not birds. Here's a Peter, Peter, Peter. Peter. 
So that one is definitely the tap to tip mouse saying, Peter, 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 Peter. You also hear a few little pick, pick sounds, which was probably a downy woodpecker, um, though I didn't get my eyes on it. Okay, so those are some of the sounds that I heard this morning. And then I thought I would walk you through what I saw, what I was able to photograph. Um, let's see. So the first look at this bird, can you find the bird first of all? Um, hopefully you can see there's a large hawk um, in this tree right here. And at first I wasn't sure um, which one it was. Given the size, I thought it was probably a red-tailed or a red-shouldered hawk. Um, as I got a little closer, even in these pictures, let me see if I can zoom in. I'm using a different computer than usual. You can actually see, even in these really horrible photographs, banding on the tail. Do you see the white stripes? Let me see if the other one was better. Oops. <laughs> Don't look at elephantiasis. Zoology lecture. There. Can you see the tail band? It's not a huge clue, but it was good enough given the size of the bird, where it was, and that stripe, a couple of stripes in the tail, I knew it wasn't a red tail and it was probably then going to be a red shouldered. Later, I got a better look at it. So this, it finally went into the sunshine. Let's zoom in, Boom, there. And you can see it's got a very buffy red um, belly and chest and you can you can't quite see the bands on the tail in that picture, um, but definitely a red shouldered, not red tailed. All right. Oh, there's the nice bands. Woo, look at that tail. Told you it was a red shouldered. All right. So he flew off. I did not get a better look at him. I was trying to figure out if this was a nest or not. Um, this was over Clark's River and it's kind of up high in a tree. And I was able to like crawl up on the other side of a bank. I almost went swimming in the mud, but just to get a better look at it, I thought maybe it was like a hawk nest. Um, and I don't know yet. It might just be a jumble of sticks after the flooding we had last weekend, but I'll go back and, and check on it. This, I was very hopeful, was going to be a pileated woodpecker. I chased this thing around. I couldn't see it, but I could hear it knocking on the tree. And I've seen pileateds in this area before, so I kept trying to find it. I was sneaky and be very sneaky. I finally was like, oh, it's a red-bellied woodpecker, which is fine. There's nothing against them, but I was really hoping for a pileated this morning. So red-bellied, red-bellied. You see that little sparrow in there? Sparrows. Oh, that's a terrible picture. Oh, do you see a field mark? Um, if you look closely, there's a field mark. That splotch on the middle of the chest lets you know it's a song sparrow. I get some better looks at it here. There it is. Not a great photograph but enough that I can make out those field marks so I can tell you that it's a song sparrow. Got another, that's a nice look at it. Even if it's not in focus, you can see the field marks again. Splotch on the chest, there's a white throat, lots of stripes on the, on the head, eye line on the crown. And then he flew into some bushes and I really wish I had gotten rid of those sticks in front of him. It would have been a nice picture. Oops. But alas, I did not. You can see it was windy. It was windy and cold this morning. The, I didn't have a great birding morning. There weren't many out. Um, but you can see his, his feathers get ruffled there by the wind. All right, what else did I see this morning? Oh, looking for chorus frogs, didn't find any. Ah, a northern cardinal. I know it's a very, you know, blase bird, but it was a cold gray morning and I was happy to see a little color out there. Can you see a hawk? <laughs> There's another hawk. 
This one I think is um, either a Cooper's or a Sharpshin, probably Cooper's. It wasn't, it was bigger than a crow, but definitely not a Budio size. Um, I think a Sharpshin would have been smaller. I didn't get a great look at it, so I don't know for sure. If you think you know for sure, you tell me. It flew away. Of course. I got home and I saw more birds at my house than I did anywhere else this morning. Um, I got a look at, a, at two pine warblers, which you can barely see here. I didn't get a good picture this morning, but I did have a couple of pine warblers on my feeders. There's a downy woodpecker. Downy. Common grackle up in my trees. Um, this finch was seen like crazy. I'm pretty sure it's a house finch. I didn't get a good look from this angle. Any guesses who that is? <laughs> I'd be really impressed if you knew. It's a yellow rumped warbler. Um, the rump patch that is yellow is obviously on the dorsal side, not the ventral. The undertail coverts are white, but it, I promise you I got a better look later. It was a, a yellow rumped warbler. Um, male house finch. You can see that dark brown streaking on its belly. Enjoying his sunflower seeds. Ooh, another <laughs> butt picture. Here. And trying to scroll. This is a pine siskin butt. Um, you can see that little bit of yellow on the primaries right there. It's a super streaky little brown bird with a very sharp bill and just a little bit of yellow um, on the primaries like right there. And I have lots of them, so I've, I've trained my eye for them. Out on my feeders, I had American goldfinches, and I think these are both male house finches. Having a good time. Cardinals. I have lots of cardinals in my yard, and I'm enjoying all the different, um, the variation in their, in their plumage. Some males are super, super bright and super um, solid colored, and other ones have kind of, the, you can see a lot of gray on this guy. Other ones tend to have lots of like peachy color on their chest. So I have a lot of variation and coloration in my um, cardinals. Here's that siskin again. You can see just a little bit of yellow right there. Of course, wing bars and lots of streakiness. Oops, wrong way. Uh, cardinal, cardinal, female cardinal with a normal looking mask. I have a female cardinal in my yard right now who's also like, she looks like a flamingo. Like she's pink. Um, and she does not have a mask and is very, very lightly colored. Pine siskin. Pine siskin. Uh, house finch, I believe. A finch bottom. A finch, a finch. This is a purple finch, a female. Um, and you can see because she's got that white supercilium, oops, eye line, or I mean eye, eyebrow. Not a great photo, obviously, but you can make out the field marks that she's got that white um, eyebrow and then like a brown auricle patch. And so the, the female um, house finches are just really brown streaky on their face, whereas the, the purple finch females have a different, uh, there's a better look, more obvious um, markings on their face there. So purple finch. I zoomed in. Oh, and I finally saw my bluebirds again. They had been gone for a few days. This is like my favorite bird. And I have a gazillion pictures of bluebirds because I love them so. And I saw the male and the female today. I'm really hoping that they're going to nest. I have two bluebird um, boxes in my backyard. I also had chickadees checking them out lately, so we'll see who gets in there. Um, and then this is a red-breasted nuthatch. I love these guys. They're super active and fun, and they will come right up to you while you're putting out seed. And I like their little spunky attitude. And look at their, their bills kind of like stick up just a little bit. They're super sharp. I think this is a female. She's not, um, the male has a little bit more orange on his belly, a little more rusty. The, she's kind of pale. But they're super cool. I love these birds. Here's my bluebird again. Bluebird looking at my feeder, wondering if it's going to dive down. And it does. 
uh, an American goldfinch, uh, not quite in breeding plumage yet, but starting to get there. So the goldfinches have really obvious black wings with white wing bars and then a solid white belly. Obviously, um, once they molt, they'll have lots of yellow um, on their heads. This guy is still an American goldfinch, but look, he's starting to molt into his black cap that you see during um, the breeding season, so that's exciting. A blue jay from across the yard didn't get close. So those are my birds for today, at least the ones that I was able to photograph. Um, so see you guys next week. Keep birding.